But let me uh, have to use the restroom. So if you'll give me a minute. That's right. And then we'll get you a phone and we will call your attorney. Okay. Okay? Oh. I'll sit here with you. All right. Let's see what we've got. Water. I don't, I don't know if I should apologize for what happened on the highway or not, but. I almost feel like I shouldn't in a sense, but I don't think, yeah, I know for a fact that he didn't know. So I don't think that it was intentional on anybody's part for any of it, so. I know that didn't look good, but I mean, you can understand why. I know one thing. If I got caught doing that, I would have gotten my ticket and got <laughs> thrown where I belong, especially when they found out I was a federal agent. Oh, oh really? You're driving like that around here? Get your ass in my car. Yeah. Well, it's kind we of figured going out. through the airport, it's restricted airspace, so they can't take the helicopters through. And we thought that the cars that were following us from my attorney's office were media, because there was a media van that followed us and another van that went with them. So we're thinking, oh, shit, here we go. Mm-hmm. It's happened before. It happens every day. I know it does. So. I know it does. I'd like to make it stop happening, to be honest with you. I would, too. <laughs> well, you know what I'll say to that. I've said it to your mom, I've said it to your dad, and I've said it to your brother, even. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, that was one thing that they all agreed upon was the fact that you've extended, you know, your hand to help. Most people haven't. Right. So. I was afraid that some of what I said to them probably offended them because I told them that if I find out something that you don't want to hear, mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you why. Well, just honestly, because. they'll respect that. That's just, you know, the yeah. type of people that they are in the same way. I know, I know they are. But uh, when I hit them with certain things, they don't want to hear it. And I understand that. Yeah. Well, but it doesn't mean I'm going to say. Exactly. When you have different beliefs than somebody, it is hard sometimes to hear their opinion. But That's true. That doesn't mean that they don't respect your opinion or the fact that you're coming forward with what you think or what you feel. Yeah. So. Well, to some extent, it's comforting to hear you say that because it was never my intention to piss anybody in your family off. Yeah. You know, I'm not in it to get a conviction. I get nothing out of it. I get zero. Exactly. You have a job you're trying to do. I've, I've found a few, and I've yeah. not found a few, and it sucks both ways. Yeah, I agree. So, it is what it is. Yeah. Where I get side, sideways with people mm-hmm. tends to be when attorneys get involved. I've heard most people say that. They don't like attorneys very much. <laughs> I, have, I have many family members that are attorneys. I have no problems with attorneys. What I have problems with are, at some point, mm-hmm. we have to set aside the rules, and we have to fight kids. And you know what? So be it. That's why I told you in the car. You know, if you tell me anything now, yeah. I'll get up and say, yep, I heard it, and you'd already <laughs> invoked it. We can't use any of it. That's just the way it is. That's all that matters to me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when we did did uh, another case that I was involved in, you know, they, they lost a confession. And I sat there and I looked right at the guys that we worked with. I said, that's not what's important. Who cares? Yeah. We found her. We found her and he's going to get what is coming to him. That's not my job. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and it works out in the end. And it works out in the end on all sides, mm-hmm. to be honest with you. It may not be comfortable. For everybody. Yeah. And there's, I've done things that if I get caught for, I'm not <laughs> going to be comfortable, I can tell you that. It's just the way life is. You know. But it's not the end of the road either. And that's what we have to keep in mind. It's not the end of the road. You know. Just a random question. Um, sure. Are there cameras in all of the rooms? I or have just no some... freaking clue. I've yeah. never been in this part of the building. So well, I know this I, is my new... guess would be yes. We're going to go get something to drink. Do you want any soda, Mountain Dew, Pepsi, nothing? No, I'm fine. Good. Thank you very much. I know my mom... I, I would guess yes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Well, my mom wasn't aware that there was a camera in the room, I guess, when she met with Melich and I forget who else, and the big interviews that were released to the media, and she was infuriated. Mm-hmm. 
you would think that that's something that you know you should be told, but you don't have to be. Right. <laughs> the law is the law. Yeah. And I will play within the rules of the law. Okay. If, if if it's a tool that's available to me that I can use later to look back on and see if I missed something or could I have done something better, I'm going to take advantage of it. Yeah, exactly. I would assume that this place probably has one somewhere. Oh, or is it at least something that records audio? So either way. Yeah. I can tell you I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, they'll probably be somewhat unhappy when they see my interviews with them. Those haven't been released yet, but they were on video. Yeah. Well, that's just part of the discovery. So. Yeah. It'll all come out. Mm-hmm. You know. But, uh, like I said, I have loyalty to one person in every one of these cases, and it doesn't happen to be anybody I'm interviewing usually. <laughs> Understandable. It's not a it's not a slight on them. You know, I've dealt with many different people in many different positions. Mm-hmm. None of which are comfortable. And those things always get in the way that you have on your brain, on your hands. You know, such are the rules that we work under. Yeah. Here's my question. Sure. Um, I know this is a, a question that a lot of people have asked. The grand jury and all of that is supposed to be secret but it was released to the media right off the bat. My dad hadn't even been subpoenaed, and that was released. So I just think a lot of that's kind of funny. And the fact that they invited the media in when they were releasing the decision, my mom had received a text message from someone within the media media. saying they're letting all of a sudden when they make the decision, we're thinking, are you serious? There are rules. Mm -hmm. I am quite sure that one of the rules that was followed was that when the decision to indict has been made, mm-hmm. um, that part of it is public. Yeah, that part's public. And they can let the media into the courtroom at that point? Yeah. I bet, this is just my bet, I don't know what the Florida rules are, I have more mm-hmm. federal stuff, familiar with that. Yeah. But what I bet is that it was done under seal, and mm-hmm. there were no names and no official charges probably read aloud. Mm-hmm. It probably just was there's been an indictment received in a case. And that's it. Well, when the media was out there all day and they knew about this a week ago that it was going to happen. Yeah. So it's just kind of funny. It's supposed to be secret. And the, the, everything the, was the released. The happenings are secret. Mm-hmm. What what takes place within the room is secret. Yeah. But as far as when it actually is convened and you know pulled together the witnesses and stuff like that, that's not also supposed to be secret? It depends on how they're subpoenaed. Okay. I mean, if you're subpoenaed under a regular court order, that's a public document. My dad document. was through his attorney, so I'm not quite sure how that came through. Yeah, but, I if know. It, but if the subpoena itself yeah. is just a regular federal yeah, or grand jury subpoena, that's public, public records. Yeah. It doesn't say what it's for. It doesn't say what case it's in. It doesn't. Mm-hmm. It just says you're subpoenaed to appear before the grand jury. Well, with them announcing that you know there was going to be a grand jury, and obviously my name was thrown out, they knew who the grand jury was for. Who threw your name out? All of the media said that it was from an inside source, meaning in here. So that's where they all say is. I can tell you what I think of the media, what I think of people who leak stuff to the media. I think it's garbage. Yeah, but I agree. Yeah. <laughs> that's the next. That doesn't, that that doesn't yeah. make it any less necessary. Without them, mm-hmm. I'll be quite honest. Without the media, we don't find a quarter of the kids that we. Oh, I agree. It helps. The exposure has helped bring in so many tips for my daughter. But at the same time, what mm-hmm. it re- what it creates is it creates a monster that otherwise isn't necessary. Exactly. Uh, the tips are what the tips are. Mm-hmm. If it was a local media only, mm-hmm. it would be much easier to work. Yeah. When you make it the national media, then you come up. You with get the Nancy Graces. Pe- well, you get the else. well, you get the tips also mm-hmm. that come from Hawaii that say I saw Kaylee. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, let me call Hawaii and let me send them out. Let me do that. Ones that are a little bit closer. Th- those, are, those are what I consider local because the, yeah. the local it's stations the are going to cover that. That's, yeah. that's contiguous to the state of Florida. That's not. When people are only getting their information from the Nancy Graces or from Globe magazine or People or you know stuff like that, are you kidding me? Well, I can say you will not see me sit trying to be interviewed by yeah. by People or Globe or anybody else. It's not going to happen. That's a good one. Entree food, my friend. Woo!
was a long ride without doing that. And then that adrenaline dump at the same time. I don't even want to know what we're talking about here. You know. <laughs> I'm just going to let that go. You know why I need it? Who's good? You're, gonna, you're not going to break bad, right? No. Alright. We're going to call him on my cell phone. Okay. I know this is... Oh, yeah, that's not good. Pull it back there. <laughs> just slide your hand out. No, I, I, I it honestly this. can't. <laughs> so they're a little <laughs> tight. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for entertaining us. Just slide your hand out. Corporal Edwards. <laughs> Actually, if I could, I would have done that for you. Do you know Baez's phone friend. number off the top of your head? No, I do not. How, how can we get his cell number or his number? Um, I know his office number. What is that? 407-705-2626. Did you see Mr. Savage while you were out there? Yeah. You you want to go speak with him and give me a handcuff key to fits? Do you want that? And I'll have her see the phone call to Mr. Baez. Yeah, you do that. Now, once again... Where is he? <laughs> should be, I should be in the office <laughs> talking to the chief. I think down he there. needs a map to Which, get back there. This is a rat maze. Oh, right here? Yeah, he doesn't know how to get back there. I've identified myself. You know why you're in custody. Yes. Um, and you have, when you signed this, you want your attorney present. Yes. Through that conversation, we have agreed. Yes. Because you express that to me again, so I have full understanding before I get on the phone with him. We discussed before that we have no problem sitting down together, him and I, and speaking with law enforcement, or listening to all the questions that you have, him and I discussing it, and then we go from there. Okay. So. And that's, there's been no success with that so far? In Nobody's opinion. taken us up on that. So we're going to, we're going to open that window right now. Okay. And hopefully we can make something happen. Because ultimately... I think we have the same interest. Mm -hmm. Finding your daughter. Two six two six. You said yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ed. It's Casey. Um, can you do me a favor and? Call Jose, or can you give me Jose's cell phone number so I can call him? Oh, is he? Okay, great, thanks. Um, I'm with Corporal, Corporal Edwards. Edwards. I know the last name, sorry. Um, I'm at the Sheriff's Department if you'd like to come down and meet with us. Thank you. Yes. You want to talk to me again, too? Okay, great, thanks. Hello? Yeah, <laughs> giving me information. Orange County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, but John Young in 50. Yeah, we, we um, Mr. Byers, we Mirandized her as we're at 422, and she stated that you've done a great job. <laughs> she invoked, and but she also said that she, you know, that her exasperation is the same as ours. You guys have wanted the opportunity to speak with law enforcement face to face, and let's if if you guys are interested in doing that, let's get that done. Quit the finger pointing, okay? All right, sir. We're game on. Anyone? Casey. The good looking young man that just walked in and is sitting across from me now is Nick Savage. What is he getting here? Oh. He's from here. <laughs> Anybody else need um, a drink? Chris okay. Peters. If it's okay with oh, you, okay. I'm going to turn this yeah, one name over to him. I appreciate your help. No, no problem. Thanks. Thanks Mr. Baez is on the way. I'm all right. Do you, you guys need anything? I'm better. Right 
he spells his last name? B-A-N-Z. Hard one. Answer your other question um, from that picture. I cut my hair; and it was really short even last year. I just started growing it back out this year. So, just about that. Okay. <laughs> as far as Mr. Bias, he's at um, the office. He's at the office. Okay. So we have a bit of time. Okay, that's fine. So and we appreciate that. We. Uh, Went through the formalities of this, mm -hmm. make sure everything's above board, and I'm, like I said before, that's what you're going to get here. Okay? We just would request the same back. Yep. You understand what you're arresting for today? Yes. Okay. May I step out for a minute? Absolutely. And I'll be back. Yep. Are you sure you don't have anything to drink? I'm fine, thank you. Handcuff key. Where'd my handcuff go? Uh, I'm even out. Probably the morning job right now. <laughs> chance to hear him talking to my mom. I spoke to him last night and this morning for just a quick second before he left. So Yeah, I talked to him this morning for a little bit. Uh, he was with Mark and you know he was really struggling. I mean yeah. you can imagine he was having a hard time. Uh, you know, he was being called in to to essentially provide testimony to indict you, mm -hmm. to at least. And he was really struggling with that. Yeah. And uh, and I felt bad for him to be honest with you. I truly did. Well, I haven't told him last night. I know he was subpoenaed, and under the law, he had to answer whatever questions were asked, and I told him to do what he had to do at that point. And if he didn't, he'd be held in contempt of court. And I don't want to see that happen, so. What did he say? He just hugged me and told me that he loved me, and I know he was struggling with it even last night, so. I think it was probably even worse this morning. Yeah, I could see that with the little bit that I saw from the media, from the pictures and... Um, a little bit of footage that they have, so. Are you guys watching on TV? No, we watched online a little bit. Really? Yeah. I try to stay away from the TV as much as possible, at least with the internet. I can scroll through, read what I want, and then just get rid of it that much faster, so. Are you anxious about today at all? Um, I have been. I mean, this is something, honestly, we've been preparing for from the beginning just because of words that were directly spoken from your knowledge and also from uh, Sergeant Allen, they were saying that this is what they were planning on doing from the very beginning, from that first day. So they wrote me off within the first couple hours. So uh, I don't know if that's true. That was the direct words that they pretty much gave to myself, and even they had said that to my parents. So I mean, I'm not trying to say something derogatory towards someone, but no, okay. We're just we're just we're just talking. Yeah. We're just chatting. So. That was the only time they ever made any effort to try to talk to me one on one, and no, it was kind of difficult. That know, was kind of difficult considering. Well, considering um, obviously in light of everything that's going on and the fact yeah. that you've been arrested for other things, it makes it a little more difficult to sit down and even talk to you. Mm -hmm. It's not that we haven't wanted to. Yeah, um, but certainly. I do have counsel, and that's something that you know my attorney's always been a phone call away, and it shouldn't have taken it getting to this point. You know, three months in. Has, you, has your attorney ever told you that we would like to speak to him? And we had agreed, him and I together, that we would all sit down together, him and I, and you guys, and you know, we entertain I, whatever I, questions you have and discuss I things. I thought that we made it pretty clear mm -hmm. that you know we wanted to talk to you. I mean, obviously, we can't come to you and ask you. Yeah, but, understandably. Yeah, you know, I thought that you were aware that if you wanted to talk to, to anybody, mm -hmm. that all you got to do was simply ask. Yeah. Well. I know it goes both ways on that, and I guess it would have needed to come from me. I should have been the one to, I guess, come forward with it. But, you know, we did open up that door to law enforcement before. When Sergeant Allen was making a big deal saying, well, we want to talk to her. When can we talk to her? He's saying, well, the door's open. Mm, I don't believe he ever told us the door's open. I mean, well, maybe not to you directly, but I know to Sergeant Allen, I was sitting there even one of the times that he spoke with him. So, I've heard the words come out of his mouth, even myself, directed to other people, 
that maybe didn't either relay the message or took it a different way. So I don't know. I think the lack of communication has put people in opposite corners when everybody has the same goal is to find Kaylee. Do you think the matter could have been resolved a little differently? Do you think the matter could have been resolved a little differently? Absolutely, in a lot of different aspects. And that's a conversation that I've had not only with my attorney, but with my family. Right. So, I mean, we all still feel, I as a mom, I know in my gut there's the feeling as a parent, you know certain things about your child, you can feel that connection. And I still have that feeling, that presence. I know that she's alive. Whether you have a bucket load of evidence downstairs that contradicts that and says otherwise, or all you have is speculation, well, or or nothing at all. I mean, whatever it is, if there's still that chance with all of these tips that have come through, I know that it's been I know that a lot have been discredited, but we ran them down. And is every and we have more than speculation. Is every tip and, and that's every lead to follow up directly? On. Yeah. That we have more than speculation. We have a lot. Or else we wouldn't be to this point. Mm-hmm. A lot. Well, and I've said, I've said the same thing to them that, you know, they said that we're at the end of a hallway, and I'm thinking we're at the end of a hallway and there's two doors. Which door are we going to go through? Or I guess this is, you know, we're at this point, and we are at this point where the, well the final beyond. step is which door is walked through. We are well beyond where we were before. Mm -hmm. I mean, those, those issues are gone. Okay. And when we refer to we're at the end of the hallway, I think you are know, well aware of what hallway we're talking about. Do you understand that? Um, well, so there's no question, I guess. You can specify that at this point. Or what your perspective is on that. You have a second? Absolutely. Can we come right back? Yeah, that's fine. You plan on running off? I'm not going anywhere. I think I'll stretch out a little bit. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> yeah. No, I thought you were going to say something smart. No, I was going to ask if I would hear Dr. Pepper or Dr. Mountain Dew. Or I actually tried to give it to her. I'm, and she didn't I'm perfectly you want fine. It? No, I don't I drink soda. So Shall I'm we okay. share it? We can. <laughs> Two straws? Or just? Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll be right back. If you want that or not, because if you don't, no, your mom I'll... probably has one. She probably has one, but I'm not going to be with my mom probably, so. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be with your mom when you leave here. I don't want to mislead you there. That's, you're not misleading me at all, which is why. Unless your mom I'm, runs me out the road on the way out of here, then you may share a car trip down That's there. why I told my mom to go home and not to come here. She wanted to come here. Yes. So, I she, mean, she knew you were coming here eventually. Um, I was the one that was telling her that I was coming here eventually, just from the and way you had enough perception to turn the flashers on. I, that's, I applaud you for that. You did that? The only one She didn't know how to put her flashers on. It was crazy. It's right in the center part of the I've the done dash. a lot of vehicle takedowns. That was similar to one. It was ridiculous. Well, I figured it? I'd help her out a little bit and help out whoever was behind her so they wouldn't hit her. No, I missed that.
Here, we're going to be a few minutes because okay. we're just going to wait for yep, Mr. Bias to get there. Water, anything? Yep, I'm fine. You good? Yep. Facilities? Yep, I'm good. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Yeah, they're right there. <laughs>
He's going to ask you a question. You don't say anything else other than the answer. Okay. Casey, based on our conversation today, and I read you that form, basically the same thing I said to Mr. Baez over the phone. If there have been numerous requests or, or requests or opportunities, requests for opportunities to speak with us and come to a resolution here. And that's why we brought you here instead of the jail. Correct? Yes. Okay. Now, based on your request for us to call him and bring him here, he's here. So what we're going to try to do is give you a few minutes somewhere that's not recorded. No secrets, I told you. This room's recorded. I have to be able to approach my chain and explain why. But first, I needed you to tell him, in your own words, if you will, that you'd like to take the opportunity to deal with us like you've made that request in the past. So, is that something you want to tell him? I told him the same thing we talked about before, that we would entertain any questions that they have. We would listen and discuss it, and if we have something to respond, we'll respond. Okay, do you want to speak to me in private? Yes. So we can clarify this? Yes. Okay. Hang tight. Let me get my room to go. Let you up. Just yeah. like, oh, I was just going to stand up for a second. I've been yeah. sitting for an hour. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Come on.
We had a discussion. Okay. You want to discuss that with her? Um, she knows. Okay. Um, I'll just go ahead and state for the record that uh, she's invoking her right to counsel and at this time wishes to uh, request to go to the jail and be processed. And we agreed upon that at 4.22 in the afternoon already. Yes. That's why we called it. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. You have any questions? Oh, that's right. That's good. No questions. Okay. Super. We'll be right with you. Please. They're going to take some. They're going to take you. Uh, remember, you're... <laughs> why did you wait so many years? Yeah, we'll put them... I'll tell you what. Actually, you know what? And this, this didn't work. So I see you left up. Okay, practice. Oh, sure. thanks. You're welcome. Nope, we need this. Don't want this. Nick Savage, the gentleman. We need that. Take this and the radio. Trust me, I'll take one thing. Okay, well, let's head out. Yeah, for you, ma'am. Uh, Make it right. Got any outstairs? Thank you.